Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. This message is for all of my Geminis. I'm going to go ahead and ground for all of my Geminis. All right. Holy Father, Ancestor, Spirit, Guides, if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. And for all of your manifestation needs, don't forget to head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's going on for all of my Geminis. I'm going to go ahead and use my Angels Answers Oracle deck to see what's crowning this reading. Forgiveness. Cut the deck on forgiveness. So, it looks like there's definitely going to be some forgiveness that needs to be had. And after this forgiveness happens, it's going to be success. What else for the Geminis? There is something better. And communicate clearly. Okay. And what flipped over in the deck? Remain positive. Okay. So there's definitely something better than what you've been stuck up in your head with. You need to communicate clearly. And through that, there it will lead to success. Definitely, there's going to be some forgiveness um, that takes place here or that needs to take place here. And you need to remain positive, right? Because it's all in your mind frame. Cut the deck on five of swords. So there has definitely been some arguments, some betrayal, some unhealthy competition here, right? And it's been a no-win situation. It's been an empty victory. It was like losing just like a loss, right? There was no, no reason for it. Then we have the seven of wands. Um, there's definitely some boundaries that are up. Um, this person is very challenged at this time. But also, they've been very discontent and bored without you as well. But I feel that the whole situation needs to be reassessed, right? What else for the Geminis? Then we have a financial hardship, a lack of stability. This could definitely be a missed opportunity, right? Okay. And then we have the three of swords and the nine of cups that flipped in reverse. There could definitely be some overindulgence here. Um, there's could definitely be some greed, some materialism. Um, somebody that has definitely made some poor lifestyle choices. Um, and there's definitely been a lot of arguments, a lot of discord. Um, a lot of dwelling on the past hurts and past pains and past griefs, right? Okay. So I definitely see there's been some stuckness here. Okay, so this whole situation, um, it definitely needed a time out. And you could definitely be in separation from this person. There's a lot of conflict here. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of restlessness, right? And then we have the Queen of Swords. This person knows that they have hurt you. As well as um, they know that you're very intelligent. And that you're very, you pay close attention to detail, right? Then we have the Ace of Swords. Um... Definitely you or this person is definitely gaining some mental clarity. Take it how it resonates for this truth, for this breakthrough. Because there's been definitely some confusion in the past and some failed communications. There's definitely been some burdens here as well. Worrying too much about what other people think. Um, getting advice from all the wrong places. Um, and there's been some financial hardships where this person or you could have definitely been stuck Um neither making or gaining that material that you want. And that's just because you are not working for your true North Node, right? Or this person. Because of Five of Wands, there's been a lot of petty conflict, a lot of irritability, a lot of competition, um, a lot of personality clashes, a lot of things that have been unsaid, a lot of agreeing to disagreeing, a lot of conflict avoidance, a lot of silence. But temperance is here. There definitely needs to be some balance, some moderation, um, some adaptation, some compromise, right? Then we have the Eight of Cups because there needs to be a lot of letting go and leaving the past behind and seeking a deeper, win a, a deeper meaning. 
Then we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, definitely, uh, there's been a lot of avoiding arguments, a lot of forgetfulness about um, your own lies or this person, take it how it resonates, just been lying, right? And you don't even, or they don't even remember that shit, how, how it is, right? Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. That made sure it, uh, it flew in reverse. There's definitely been some loneliness here, some family disconnect, um, some loss of um, funds, right? Poor investments, making wrong choices. The Fool, this person does want a new beginning with you. Um, they're being very spontaneous right now. Um, Knight of Pentacles that came out of reverse. Um, so definitely there's been somebody that's been too domineering. Um, they've tried to be uh, like very much so their own God in a way. You know, they're trying to be too fucking controlling and they were not able to articulate how they really feel. And they did not, they've tried to fight the change. They were afraid of the unknown and they didn't want to go ahead and you know, those intuitive nudges and those signs that they were getting, they are definitely fighting them and they they didn't want to go ahead and surrender to their true north node, right? Um, then we have the king of cups. Um, this person may be trying to gain balance, um, become very strengthened in their own and moving away from all the bullshit that no longer serves them and that turbulence and swimming towards uh, calmer waters, right? Because they do see the world with you. They do see high attainment. They do see inner and outer peace. They do want to take that voyage with you. Then we have the Queen of Wands. There's been a lot of sleepless nights here. They know you're very vibrant, um, magnetic. You're very generous. They, they want to step into being the emperor where they have that strong foundation. There's been a lot of suffering, a lot of anxiety, a lot of being up in the ego, a lot of being overwhelmed with guilt and regret because of how they shitted on you. But they know who you are. They know that you are uh, their two of cups. They know that um, they they um, have a deep soul connection with you and they want to reconcile with you. Take it how it resonates, flip it and reverse it. Um, and we have the emperor and the empress. So it's definitely a, a, a deep soul connection here. It's not going to be a connection that you feel with anybody else. And it's, and it's like um, it needs to be shown the ability to deliver, right? Because there's been a lot of suffering and worrying about what other people think of sleepless nights and being overwhelmed with guilt and regret and delays, right? There's been a lot of all of that. All right, Gemini. Well, go ahead and work it out either way. Flip it and reverse it. Put it how it goes. You know what I'm saying? All right, don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.